Okay, we finally reached the world map on the other side. We're still below the mist line, though. So, you'd think, like, a ma in the case of Lindblom and Alexandria, the majority of that country, ex those countries exist on the higher portions of the world where the mist doesn't lie. The lie mist tends to lie in the canyons and all that stuff, which there are considerable size canyons. Bermica is the exception. Bermica actually exists below the mist line, but they don't really have to worry too much about that because of the rain. It is like consistently raining near Bermica, and it actually sort of pushes the mist away. Here is the city of Bermica. Do I my characters in crap shape? No, 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 they're all right. They're all, they are all right. And, um... But is that gooder? <laughs> no. I mean, I would like to have slow, but... Oh, okay. I'm just gonna switch to this. Moving on. Of course, we had gotten word that Marmica was under attack by Alexandria, by black mages. Against an army, what can we hope to do? But we gotta do something, so we're here for it. Oh, he's dead. Alright. And of course, the... Living below the mist line you'd think would be dangerous, but the rain drives it away. But, um, I would guess that Permica was just as susceptible to the wars and such of the previous uh, decades and stuff, even though they sort of lived without the mist in their own area, you know? Which is why they appear that they're like, their sections of the world are gated off as well, just like. Just like Alexandria and Linda. Angel Snack. Do not know what that is. Let's go take a look real quick. Ice Staff. Nice. Remedy! Alright. That's alright. Remedy's nice. Ah, these bastards. Are they leading the army? The hell of a jump there, buddy. Yeah, just some more black mages. Can't eat these, so I'll just kill them. Must be emotionally damaging for Vivi to have to do this. Because, I mean, remember how torn up he was having to watch the black mages aboard the airship fall to their deaths, even though they weren't really even conscious at the time. Now he's got to stand here and actually kill them himself. the general. Alright. 
time to move on. How, uh, aside from like wondering how a place could actually exist being consistently rained on, like, how do they manage to build anything where it's always raining? And how is it always raining? I mean, that doesn't make any sense, but whatever, video game logic. Zorn and Thor and those weird little freak, freak gesture, gestures always finishing each other's sentences and stuff. But arguing, you know, because, you know, why can, why don't, well, <laughs> they can't ever agree, I guess. Oh yeah, it's always raining, I have an idea, build a fountain. They're leaving a lot of softs around here. That's a mimic! Ah, shit. Reoccurring enemy in a lot of RPGs. Creature that disguises itself as a treasure chest, only to attack you. The game that just finished uh, Final Fantasy XII had these types of things all over the damn place. Oh, alright. That wasn't difficult at all now, was it? Can't get to that door, I guess. Everything's all busted up. I guess the Black Mages did some crazy damage in here before they... Before they um, finished the job. Ah! Well, I'm not getting that treasure chest now, am I? If I want to get what that is, I have to run all the way back. All the way back. Over to the other side. And then I can get that one treasure chest. I can't remember what it is, but considering the amount of work and backtracking you have to do to get it, it's Probably something pretty nice. Now how to get that one? <laughs> I can't tell you. I don't know. That's a mimic! God damn it! Sons of bitches. Ah, <laughs> oh, why did I gotta do this to me? I didn't want this episode to last forever. Yep, he's asking for help. I'm gonna try and eat it though. Um, come on. Ether was stolen, you son of a bitch. And you're poisoning. Hopefully it's on somebody with antibody. It wasn't. Damn it. Kill that some bitch. You can't eat. Uh, I guess it's made out of wood, isn't it? Kill that other thing. Maybe we can eat that. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> Critical, 784. High potion is stolen. I better get that crap back. <sighs> Maybe that's weak enough. I know these things don't have that high of an HP. Ah, you son of a bitch! He's getting away. Oh, man, I lost an ether in a high potion. Well, at least the ether I did. Maybe not the high... Oh, maybe the... I lost a high potion. Shit. I got the ether back, but I didn't get the high potion. That was totally not worth it. Hey, there's a uh, some candle lit here. No, why, why is there a friggin' dialogue option there for this? He's dead. Bell by the bed. 
Protection bell. I guess I did need to go over here. It wasn't just an optional thing. Hmm. All right. Hell of a jump there, buddy. Dead Bermikans everywhere. Got a new microphone. Past four or five episodes I've been using it. I don't know if... I stopped just long enough to check to see if it's recording. It used to be... Over the various years that I've been doing this, I would have various different pieces of recording equipment. Started off with a desktop... Um, actually, the first time when I started off doing this, I was using the USB headset that came with the PlayStation 2 game, SOCOM US Navy SEALs. Crappy headset, but it's what I had, so it's what I used. Went on to a... after that, it was a... Um, like a basic desktop PC microphone that you'd have on your desk. My mouse is creeping across the screen. You guys see that? I'm not even touching it. What the hell's happening? Huh? Someone's alive. I was using a Samson Go mic for a little while, although I had some driver problems with that. Still use it occasionally, but for a little while, I mean, I was I went off for a little while using a bunch of USB or not USB, just a standard headset and microphones, a series of cheap ones. But for the past little while, I've been doing almost nothing but um, using a a um, oh shit just run a cheap webcam sitting on top of my monitor <laughs> slow 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 so I've been looking to uh, find an excuse to go and upgrade my system so I can get some better sound with this stuff but uh, it's, it took me a little while to get to the point where I would I'd actually go and do it <laughs> Damn monsters, gradual petrify. I imagine everything here is... Oh, Blizzora. Powerful. More powerful, anyway. Version of the magic spell, Blizzard. Let's see what that looks like. Dead! That's quite a bit of damage there, Vivi. This uh, microphone I got now sounds better, I think, but I'll leave you to be the judge of that. You mean the monster that tried to kill us?
Okay, so there are some Burmican still alive. It wasn't just a complete slaughter. Although it's definitely not a... Uh, a lot of people have definitely died here. Can't jump that, for whatever reason. Able to jump distances like that earlier in the game, but not now. Tent and a phoenix down. If I could find a fucking Moogle, I'd be able to use the tent. And it's a mimic. Here we are. Except for you, Vivi. We're cool with you. Okay, we got a new weapon for Freya. Javelin to Mithril Sphere. The Dragon Killer is an ability I'm definitely going to want to get. But I'm going to switch over to Mithril Spear for now, and then switch back to the Javelin later in order to try and acquire Dragon Killer at some other point. Because I'm going to want Mithril Spear because of this race's wind. is a pretty um, cool ability. Regen. Cast Regen on all party members. That is fan-frickin-tastic. I'm actually going to end the episode pretty soon. But... First, I'm going to jump over to this room and check out what we have here. Lightning Staff! Hey, it's Siltskin! Oh, I just bought some crap off of him. What are you here for? Okay, I got a letter to deliver. So, he's got a shop there. That's pretty cool. Oh, weapons and everything. In case you need to upgrade. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, though. So, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.